Welcome to our video series on adding automatically updating content to your web pages. In this video, we'll explore using RSS feeds to improve your websites. An example of a site using RSS, which stands for Really Simple Syndication, well, this site is using RSS to automatically include finance headlines, as you can see. This site is actually UK-specific, so the headlines are UK-specific headlines. And the owners of this site don't make these changes every day or even every week. They're done automatically. And in this case, as you can see, there are a few finance headlines. If we click on this one, there are lots of different ways of implementing RSS. This site, when you click on the headline link, it keeps you on the same website as you can see, but it includes the full article. Whereas sometimes, when RSS articles are included in a site, when you click on that headline, it actually takes you to that site. Another example is here. It's another finance example over on the right this time. As you can see, the headline and a snippet of the article. And if we click here, it remains on the website and we see the whole article here. So this can all be done automatically by using RSS feeds and some scripting. This site, which actually has, well, it's like a directory of RSS feeds. I have it open here. It's called chordata.info, C-H-O-R, data.info. And I've browsed to this section of the directory. And as you can see, it lists different RSS feeds. Here, BBC News, Have Your Say World Edition, and the description is updated every minute of every day. But this one is for personal use only. Most RSS feeds, well, the vast majority of RSS feeds, don't have any restrictions, but some do. The BBC, as you can see in this instance, is only for personal use. So, okay, if we go back to that BBC feed and click it, you can see how it would look if you add it to your site. Headline and a small description of the headline. And here, in this tab here, I have a page open here at Yahoo that lists a number, if not all, of their news feeds via RSS. As you can see, news.yahoo.com forward slash RSS. And it has a description, then lists a number of their feeds. And if you have a Yahoo account, a free Yahoo account, you can add, they have built-in RSS. Well, basically, in a free Yahoo account, there's now a way to easily keep up to date with your RSS feeds. Your RSS feeds if you've subscribed to them. And clicking here will automatically subscribe you to this feed. What you're interested in here is the XML button. If we click that, this is what the RSS feed actually looks like. To the human eye, this doesn't mean a huge amount. It has to be processed so it's actually meaningful and easy to read for your website. So if we go back, What I tend to do, and you may want to do this differently depending on which browser you're using, I generally browse in Mozilla Firefox. 
And what I do if I'm interested in making use of an RSS feed is just hold the mouse over the button, right click, choose Copy Link Location. So now this RSS feed path is then copied into memory, which is then useful for adding it to my website or whatever. And just to prove this, if I go to the address bar, right click paste, there's the path. So if I press enter, there's the RSS feed. But again, viewing it in the browser isn't exactly, well, there's not much point because it doesn't display very neatly. And just before I round out this video, one other point. Well, basically, when you're browsing the web, if you're interested in an RSS feed, just look out for the letters RSS or the XML button because a huge number of sites are publishing their content as RSS. And another very popular site is Topics. It's topics.net. This is a very comprehensive news site, and they have some RSS feeds here as well, as you can see. This one is for top stories. If we click it again, well, that's how it displays, but that may be a feed that you feel is appropriate to your website. So basically, when browsing, keep your eye out for any RSS feed you're interested in. And then you can maybe copy the link location and maybe save it for later for when you're maybe ready to use it. Or if you're looking to add RSS feeds to your website, just search for ones at that point, and I'm sure you'll find feeds that are relevant to your website. Even just go to Google and do a search for your keywords relevant to your website, and I'm sure you'll find sites with relevant RSS feeds. Alternatively, go to an RSS directory like choredata.info, and I'm sure there are many others. Um, go back to the home page. You can just browse here. For example, if you are interested in sports and recreation, and let's say travel, it lists some feeds there. Again, by doing your own searches, I'm sure you'll find many more. It's just one place to look. And if we look here, for example, Asia Travel Books, Description of the Feed, and that's the sort of headline and information content you would get. Of course, this is slightly off subject, but if you're interested in publishing your own RSS feeds to help publicize your site and bring traffic to your site, I'm sure this would be one of many good places to list your feed. So those are just a few examples of how RSS feeds, when implemented into a website, how they look, how you can use them for your own site, and you can choose different formats for your own site, and also how you can choose feeds with relevant content for your website.